Hi everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video, finally, I show you Breakout's room in Microsoft Teams. One of the most desired feature highly requested. This feature allows you to break meetings in subgroups, so you can divide people in rooms by empowering brainstorming and discussion in your session. Let's have a look to this new feature and I'll show you every step how you can use it. Let's go! Here I am on my PC and I have Microsoft Teams open. I already created here a meeting called Breakout Rooms in order to explore and to play with this new capability. I will join now this meeting. Clicking on Join appear this new pre-meeting experience where I can select which devices I want to use for the audio if I have audio in my room or I can even click don't use audio and then I have the camera let me turn on the camera here I am hello it's time to join this meeting we are 10 participants in total for this meeting here I am now in the meeting with all participants there is this new icon in the top right corner next to raise hand this is called breakout rooms let's click on it this will open this panel and here basically you can configure breakout rooms. How many rooms do you need? You can select up 50 rooms, but I will select this time three rooms. Next, you can select if you want to assign automatically all participants to these rooms or maybe you want to do it manually. I will select manually and let's create rooms now. Now I have this panel on the right side and here I can basically decide which name I want to assign to this room. For example, I will rename this one Room New York. I'll do the same for the others. I will decide the name for the second room. This will be Room Rome. And then the last one, which is Paris. Okay, all good name are set up and now I can assign participants. So if you expand this menu item, you will have all participants. You can select all participants or then I will go through one by one. Let's select Alex Wilbur, next door Wilkie, Patty Fernandez. This is the first team and I will assign these three person in room New York. Let's go forward with Grady, Archie, Joan Lawrence and Lini Robbins and this team will compose the room Rome. And now we have Diego Siciliani, Adela Wenz and I will assign to the room Paris. Okay, now we have all set up. I can start breakout rooms. Before to go forward, I want to call out the settings of breakout rooms. If you click on the ellipsis button here next to the title of this meeting, you can access to the rooms settings. And here you have the ability to set if automatically move people into open ed rooms, or you can even select let people go back to the main meeting. I will leave as is these settings because it's fine for me and I want to that people stay focused on the brainstormings. We have a lot of discussion to do and we have to come up with nice ideas let's go back now to the main property panel and here i have the second option which is recreate rooms if i made some mistake or if i have to add additional rooms or i have to rename something or i want to recreate the structure of my breakout room you can click on recreate and this will open again the, the panel of that we have seen at the beginning where you can decide how many rooms you want to have if you want to assign people automatically or manually here i am back on my breakout rooms it's very important to know that you can reassign participants to other room. For example, I can assign Alex Wilbur, Wilbur to the room Paris. You can do that and now we can see that Alex Wilbur is in the room Paris. Okay, all good. It's time to start these breakout rooms. In order to do that, you can click on the start rooms. 
Here I am now in the main meeting. I am the organizer of this meeting so then I can decide the structure of these breakout rooms. I can configure everything. And now I can see that all breakout rooms are open and the people are moved into these rooms. But wait a minute, there is Ligu is late and has joined now the meeting. So I have here now Ligu in the participants list. Don't worry, Ligu, I will assign you now in the proper room, which is New York. Don't worry. And then I can assign Ligu to the room New York. Now Ligu is added as well in the room New York. We can see that all rooms are open and all people, all people are collaborating in the meeting. And we have here the status in meeting, as you can see here. We have even Ligu now added in room New York. Let's check breakout room from a normal user perspective. Opening now this meeting, I am Alex Wilbur and I have the full capabilities of a normal team meetings here. I can raise my hand, I can chat, I can see the participants to this room. I can even open more action, I can start recording, I can show meeting notes and then I can even enable live captions. Opening now this property panel where I have meeting notes here, I can start to take notes. So as you can see here, all full capabilities are in in this breakouts room. I can even sketch ideas or anything in the whiteboard. Here I am back now in the main meeting as Giuliano. I have an important announcement now to send to all participants. How I can do that? You have to click on the ellipsis button next to the title of this meeting. You will find in this menu, make an announcement. Clicking on it, I can type, you have the last five minutes clicking on send now i'll show you that this message is appear in a room i am now alex wilbur and in the chat in the show conversation i have here a dot if i click this will open the meeting chat and i have here now this announcement marked as important and as you can see here you have the last five minutes Let's go back now on the main meeting as Giuliano because it's time to close rooms. Clicking on this button, basically all participants will redirect in the main meeting. It's important to mention that every participant can access only to his breakout room. For example, I am here, Alex Wilbur, and in the chat, I have only the room Paris available. I can even click on this and I can display files, chats related to this meeting. Now I want to show you that it's possible to handle rights for every room. I reopened this room, New York. Let me join this room and now I am in. What I will do now is clicking on show participants. By default, every participant is added as presenter. This means that I can change rights. For example, Ligu can be only attendee. So by clicking on that, Ligu now is listed as attendee. I can do the same for Nestor because I want to, I want to give the organization of this room to Alex Wilbur, for example. This is a typical use case. And now we have only one presenter, Alex Wilbur, and then we have two attendees. It's up to you how you prefer to structure rights in every room. I am back in the main meeting and I closed the room, New York. It's time to end this meeting. Now I will show you that as presenter, I am able to check every room. In fact, if I open chat, I'm able to see every room here. Room, Paris and New York. I can even check notes, files, and the whiteboard. All content is here available for the organizer of this meeting. Changing the perspective now as other presenter, if I click on chat, I am connected as Alex Wilbur and Alex Wilbur can only check the materials of related with his own room, Paris in this case but he doesn't have the ability to check other rooms. All right, that was a quick tutorial how you can use Microsoft Teams breakouts room. 
If you enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. If you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, put a comment down below, I read them all and this is also how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time, bye!